Tasha. I am back with another video. Thank you so much for stopping into my channel. Hair looks crazy. So today is a hair video. Um, just got done washing my hair. So that's why you still see it in the braids because I'm still braiding and banding my micro locks. Although I'm getting really close to my one year. Um, I actually don't know when you're supposed to maybe stop braiding and banding, but I keep doing it. It's not that big of a deal. So I just continue to do it. But as I was washing my hair, I was trying to decide what style I am going to do. Usually a braid out is my go-to every single time because, I mean, it looks great. It's quick and easy. The curls last me for a very long time. So that's usually just my go-to, but I wanted to try something different today. So I decided that I would go ahead and record myself doing my hair today. I am going to, man, y'all getting low <laughs> on my leave-in but i'm gonna use every drop in here before i buy another one because you know this stuff is not cheap and it's great so i will definitely be using all that up first but anyway um i've decided that i am going to try a bantu knot out on my micro locks um i'm excited to try i actually when i was a loose natural this was one of those styles that I just could not get right. I tried it multiple times and I was only successful one time in doing a Bantu knot out. So I figured, hey, let's give it a shot with, you know, my micro locks because um, when I was a loose natural, you know, braid outs, they would look great, but they would never look great for me for days upon days upon days on end. Um, so and those are my go-to with my micro locks. Same with a flat twist out. I could never get a flat twist out to look really great um, from roots to ends on my loose natural hair. And that looks great with my micro locks. So I'm like, let's continue to try out these hairstyles that were kind of fails on <laughs> my loose natural hair and see if they are successful on my micro locks. So I'm not going to use any other product than what I have, what I'm putting on right now, which was my melanin leave-in and then I'm going to use the melanin oil to seal all that in and put some on my scalp but that's all I'm going to use because my hair is still wet from me just literally getting out the shower from washing it I'm not putting um, anything else on it because usually that is enough just it being wet slash damp is enough to hold the hairstyle so that's what I'm going to do I think I'm going to try to do these medium size because I don't want tight 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 curls but i also don't want them too loose that they don't last me um throughout the week and of course throughout my workouts because i work out almost every day so kind of need to do it in the middle somewhat and you know we'll see how it turns out so i'm gonna go ahead and get started i'm going to leave this sort of middle part in um, because although i wear my part to the side I find that when I do my twists, braids, whatever it is I'm doing, my hair gets a lot more volume and looks so much better when I style it down the middle and then flip it over once my hair is completely dry. I absolutely love that look. That is a trick if you guys find that your hair is, once you take out your braids or twist, that it's really flat um, because you twisted it in the direction that you wanted it to lay. Sometimes it doesn't have as much body. That's what I do. Leave it down the middle, do my style once I take it out flip it over and it just gives you this uh, ba, 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 boom <laughs> going. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with doing these band two knots. So I'll speed this up so y'all don't have to sit through it, of course. All right, so I just wanted to do a uh, little pause for the call so that y'all can see how I'm doing this. So I'm just literally grabbing and going um, just a chunk of hair. And I would say if I had to guess about eight to 10 locks um, is in this. Actually, I'm going to take away just a few because my hair is still wet. I actually do want it to dry sometime today. So I don't want to do them too thick. Um, but this is what I'm doing, just grabbing and going. And I am just twisting it very loosely at first to kind of get it started and then wrapping it around itself. Cause y'all know if you've done Bantu knots, you gotta be pretty careful 
not to wrap too tight, especially when you're getting started, because then it's going to make your roots really, really tight. And we don't want all that tension on your hair. So I'm going to do it that way and then just keep twirling until you get your knot at the top and just tuck the ends in there so that you don't, it's not, you see, it's not pulling on my edges here. And if it was, you can just kind of unscrew it a little bit in the opposite direction once it's on and that'll loosen up some of that um, tension for you because you don't want these to be tight. You don't want to damage your hair, but also you're going to have to keep these in for a little bit. Some people do them for, you know, over the course of some days and you don't want to be walking around with your hair being super tight for days and days on end. So just be careful and start them loose and then you can tighten them as you're actually creating the Bantu knot. I am all done. That was pretty quick, if I may say so myself. So this turns out, okay, we can do this again because it did not take that long at all. Also wanted to say that I know I said I washed my hair, so my hair was still wet. My hair was not soaking wet though because I had it sitting in my Turby towel that I absolutely love, these microfiber towels from Amazon. I had it sitting in this and this is pretty wet. So it soaked up most of the water for me so that I hopefully don't have to wait forever for this hair to actually dry. Um, I did the back ones. I did them just a bit smaller since the hair is shorter back there and I wanted to try to have the same type of curl pattern when I take these down. Now, it is now um, 11.30 in the morning. I think I'm going to do a mixture of letting it air dry. And I do have a soft hooded dryer that you just, you know, connect to the blow dryer. You can just put over your head. I think I'm going to do that maybe on and off throughout the day because I already think I don't want to sleep in these. <laughs> I don't think these are going to be the most comfortable to sleep in. So I'm going to try to go ahead and get my hair dried by tonight so that I can take these out before it is time for bed so I don't have to sleep uncomfortable. So hopefully I'll be back later today with the takedown um, of these Bantu knots. But I'm gonna do a quick 360 so that you guys can see what they look like. I don't know how many I have, maybe 20-ish, I don't know, <laughs> look. So that's it. So I'm going to let these chill. They're actually kind of cute. <laughs> Not my style to wear for a few days, but they don't look bad at all. So if you want to rock this as a hairstyle, by all means, go ahead. But that's not my goal. My goal is to do a Bantu knot out. So I'm going to take these down after they have hopefully completely dried by the end of the day. So catch you in the next clip. All right, child, I am back. It's been about six hours since I finished my hair and I sat under, um, well, used my soft hooded dryer for about an hour. And then for the rest of the day so far, I've just been letting it air dry. But I took out a few in the back and they seem to be dry and got a cute little curl to them. So I'm excited to see how the rest of this will turn out. I feel like the ones in the front here got... I feel like they're still slightly damp, but we're going to go ahead and take them out because these are uncomfortable, even not even sleeping. These are uncomfortable and I didn't even do them tight and I'm ready, I'm ready to have them out of my head. So I'm going to go ahead and take them out. Of course, just to take them out, you just twist them in the opposite direction that you twisted it in until it gets a little bit looser and then it'll just come right on down. So...
not sure how I was going to like this, but I really like them. Oh, okay. <laughs> Super cute. I mean, the hair is still slightly damp, which I think is okay, especially for the front here, because I think if it would have dried all the way, it may have been a little bit too um, tight of a curl for my preference, but it's like ever so slightly damp here at the roots mostly the ends not so much but it is super super soft from using that melanin leave-in and oil and of course like i said i do you know infamous side part just run my fingers through this side flip it over here oh and you see how it just gives it that nice body yaddy 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 <laughs> It gives it that, sorry y'all, the mirror is right behind the camera, so I'm trying to give it a little bit of a style, but I think this would be super cute. Of course, put maybe like even some cute pins on this side, of course, getting some edge control on those edges if that is your preference, but this Bantu Night Out is cute. I love the shape that it's giving my locks instead of them kind of just being down or crimpy from my braid outs this gives it a definitely a different type of look and i am digging it what do y'all think i really like this maybe something i'll definitely try again granted they're uncomfortable but if i can get these results and if they will last <laughs> so fingers crossed that it actually lasts i can get my braid outs to last a couple weeks before you know spraying it with water and things start to get it to you know not look so defined um but i think if i can get a week out of this that's that is good enough for me so we'll see what happens but i absolutely love it let me let me know below what you guys think let me know if you've tried a bantu knot out on your locks before and how that came out but it looks like i've got another successful style that was a fail being a loose natural <laughs> but seems to be winning here in the micro lock world okay i ain't mad at it but this is super super cute let me know whatever questions you guys have below but it's super simple wet hair leave-in conditioner oil bantu knots let it dry literally that's all that i did so let me know if you have any other questions i'll be happy to answer them down below and i'll catch you guys in the next <laughs> video <laughs> peace